So in the previous lesson, we arranged out the light shader right over here so that the light is actually seen in the rendered view. So in this lesson, let's see how to control the light position. So you can see that now I have added in all the light position right here and here is the light position right over here. So what we can do is we can expand this out and here you can see that here's the position of the light. So I can actually drag it around and you can see that now my light is on the right hand side right here. So I can change the position Y and it changes out and you can see that the shader changes as well. I can also go over here and change the look position right over here and I can see that this is how I can change this out. So these handle right over here, you can see that these are the ones which are being affected. So if you want more interactive control, so uh, usually you do want an interactive control right over here. So if you do want an interactive control, you can enable the peg and then keep it in the light so that you can control it interactive interactively as well. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to uh, Windows. I'm going to go to, uh, let's say, I'm going to go to uh, Windows toolbar. I'm going to go to display and over here in display, I'm going to say display all. And once I do that, I'm going to add in peg right over here. So I'm going to go around here, add in the peg and then there you go. There's the peg control right over here. So there's the light control peg over there. So now I can go over here and if I were to control the peg, you can see that it is parented onto the uh, camera right over there, just like this. So I can keep the camera, right, let's say right uh, over here and I could go into the light position. So this is where it looks at. You can see that this can be changed as well. You can also add in a peg to the target position and then control that out as well if you want to. So now you can see that this is how it is being controlled. So now once that is done, what we're going to do is we're going to go out and then uh, uh, con um, control out the type of light over here. So for that, I need to go into the light position right over here and then what I can do is, this is the peg as you can see, and over here in the light position, I can double click. And over here you can see 3D path and everything else, but uh, this is not where I can control light from. But over here, I need to go into the light shader. Let's go in over here. So here you can see that you can select the different type of light right over here. So you can select, you can see that right now, the light type is directional, which means that it is on a direction basis over here. If I were to change this into a point light, you can see that now this is a point based light, just like that. So a point is being controlled over here, just like that. So if I were to go over here onto the point light right over here, change it out, you can see that based on where this is, the point light actually focuses on. It's kind of like a bulb light over here. You can see that the 3D bulb is there. You can also go to spotlight right over here. And once you go into spotlight, you got the cone angle as well. So you can decrease the cone angle right here. So only this part of the area is being lighted up. As you can see, I can increase out the cone angle and the lighting area actually increases out just like that as you can see. So let me just go on into point light because this is what I want to uh, to get the look for in this case. So you can also go over here and then change out other settings as per what, what you want for. You can change the color of the lighting as well as you can see. So you want more like a blue light and you can see that this is more like a proper light for this kind of a graphic right over here. So you can go over here, change out the light according to what you wish. So that's how it works like. And you can go over here and change out the position of the light as well. And that gives a 3D look to the object as you can see right here. So it doesn't seem in the open gel, but over here you can see that you get a dynamic look. So even for 2D graphics, what you can do is you can use different light settings. You can give bevel effects by using Toon Boom Harmony and then give it a very unique look. So that is how you can use the light uh, settings inside of a Toon Boom Harmony and work around with different kind of lights. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.